All right, guys, so the long awaited sequel for Fallen Order is finally out, but I come bearing bad news because it is a very bad port right now, as you might have already heard, and I can confirm that. Uh, even with my system, you can find it in the description. Uh, I am getting somewhere between 50 and 60, and in some case, also dipping down to uh, the mid 40s during a lot of heavy action. Uh, I am currently playing it at 3440 by 1440p uh, with uh, epic setting and ray tracing off, but uh, that is my frame, somewhere between 50 and 60. And supposedly, this is already with the day one patch, and uh, it's still not running very well. So definitely, definitely hold off on uh, picking this one up. Uh, you're going to have to probably wait for many patches, just like The Last of Us. Now graphically, it is a slight step up from the first one. Uh, the first one still looks really good. And I think the problem with this one right now is that there's just a lot. They created a really detailed environment in the background with a lot of things going on. And you're going to be looking at it in all a lot of times. So, but the problem is I think it's just, it's, it's too much of an open world. And right now it is impacting the performance. Uh, because when you're in battle in this environment, it's just everything, like I said, is really detailed in the background and it is just really pulling the performance down. So yeah, it's just another game that needs a bit more time for optimization, just like The Last of Us. Uh, that game is turning around, so they could have just delayed that for another month or so and the game would have been in a much better shape. Now going back to the graphic setting, changing the resolution and the graphic settings to uh, from epic to high uh, and from 3440 to 1440p to um, a higher DLD SR resolution of 4587 by 1920, I noticed that it really didn't help with performance at all. Um, lowering the graphic quality didn't really do much of anything and uh, bumping my resolution to from 3440 to um, 4587 by 1920 did not affect the uh, the frames at all it was pretty relatively the same so something is going on uh, like i said they really need more time uh, with this in the Elden. Now, this game doesn't support DLSS at all. Uh, there is FSR, but uh, I notice it has no effect again on my frames. Uh, setting it to between off uh, quality mode and balance um, relatively only gained me maybe a few frames. That's pretty much it. Alright, so let's move away from the performance side and let's talk about the ultra wide. Now this game does support uh, 21 by 9 and 32 by 9 in gameplay. Uh, however, in 21 by 9 at my resolution, I do notice still a slight black bar on the left and right. Uh, just like Death Stranding. Now, uh, if you're playing on a 32 by 9, there might be a uh, black bar for you doing cutscenes. So, uh, that is the word right now. Now, there is a FOV adjustment, but it is not a slider per se. It is just an uh, option choosing between the default, uh, wider, or widest. Uh, I noticed on 21 by 9, the wider option is perfect. Uh, 30, the, the widest one is a little bit too much, uh, that should be, uh, used for more of a wider screen. And just like the first game, there is HDR support, but, uh, this time it is definitely much better than the first one. I could never get the first one, um, looking, uh, perfect. Uh, however, this one is definitely a lot easier to adjust and it definitely looks a lot better than, uh, Fallen Order. So performance aside, it is definitely a much uh, bigger game and uh, it's got a lot of more moveset than the first one for sure. And uh, Cal does seem to be a bit heavier, just a slightly heavier than the, uh, the first one. He feels a bit more grounded and I kind of prefer that. Alright guys, so that is just my quick impression on this game so far. I will be doing uh, one for Redfall as well. Kind of looking forward to that game. So until that video, I will see you then. Take care for now. Bye.